Hello girls, it's Yolanda Renee. Today we are going to be doing this quick bun tutorial. Um, you know, this bun right now, I've had this in all day. So it may look at least a little bit rusty, but not really. Because <laughs> a bun is supposed to be messy, you know what I mean? Um, but I rocked this bun today with pride. Um, and I posted it on Instagram. I'll show you the picture that I posted um, and people have been going crazy. So there's the first picture. And also my outfit of the day. And everyone is asking, you know, do you have this bun tutorial? I do have a bun tutorial. And I may have one exactly like this. I'm not really sure. So I just decided to record it again. Um, and the other bun was one um like a more twist out like a more defined twist out um and i'll link that somewhere up here i look kind of shiny do i anyway <laughs> all right so anyway use your imagination on this tutorial before i did this bun my hair was in an afro and i will show you let me show you this image because I posted this on Instagram too. So day one, I started with a twist out. And the twist out is what I did with um, the Curls um, Control Jelly, the new product. And you can check out that video as well. So the first day, I had a twist out. The next day, I did a puff. And then, I think I actually wore a puff for like two days. And then... After I took the puff down, it was still kind of a twist out, but it wasn't as defined because I didn't retwist at all um, for the first three days. Or I didn't retwist at all, period. Um, so I had more of an afro style, and then I turned that afro style in. So there still is some texture in there, but it's not really super defined. So here's the graphic that I put on Instagram where I start out with the twist out. So I have the twist out here, the puff here. This is the afro when I took it, the puff down. So yeah, this is the bun that I'm rocking to today, honey. Yes. And there's nothing in here but hair. It's just my hair, which I'm very proud about. And I put that on Instagram too. Because you guys know we use the socks. We use the little donut thing. Oh, remember this huge donut that I showed you? Well, some people use these. And you can still use these if you like. But this is how I do my bun without any fillers. <laughs> all right so as I said my hair started out as um, my hair started out as just of afro all right so what you're gonna need you're gonna need a spray bottle because of course we want to um, be able to you know mess with our hair without breaking it so adding water to your hair or any products will help um your hair feel more you know strong instead of so weak and dry you know what i mean and brittle and you could really damage your hair so always mist your hair just a little bit with some water from eden body works this is from their coconut shea line and this is their hair balm which is the bomb <laughs> i'm so corny but yes this is eden body works hair bomb but yes this is the curls blueberry bliss curl control paste did i say it right <laughs> so yes we're gonna use that for our edges i also have my michael mercier detangling brush we may need this and I also have an old toothbrush to help me with my edges. So, oh, and then the last thing is I have these bobby pins. You guys, if you're like me, I lose bobby pins all the time. So I went out to my local beauty supply store and got these. There are so many. There are so many in here that they don't even tell you how many. It just says you get a pound of these bobby pins. So, yeah, I have a pound of bobby pins, you guys. All right, so I'm just going to take my bun down. All right, there we go. So goody hair band. That devil up in the red dress got him dressed and redress you too. All right, so I'm going to try to get my hair down back into a fro. 
just so you guys will understand like what we're starting with somebody on my instagram commented they're like oh my gosh i'm so happy that you do these tutorials because you know i don't really have a type 3 texture or curl pattern um i have all kinds of patterns in my hair but they were like so excited they were like you give us hope because you know i honestly don't care about curls <laughs> like i just love my hair i don't care about what texture it is or anything you know what i mean i just love my hair i love everybody's hair honestly but i love mine more which is a good thing because it's okay it's okay to like other people's hair and have hair envy or whatever you want to call it but you have to love yours um and it's a journey because when i first went natural you guys i was obsessed with curls and i wanted like tearing guys hair <laughs> i wanted curls um but then i fell in love with my own hair and now i love it and that's when you'll notice your journey will be easier once you fall in love with your hair and then learn it you know all right anyway i'm not going to try to make this super perfect but you get the idea so this is pretty much how i rocked my hair on day three or four i can't remember um i think i rocked the puff for a couple of days and then i pulled the puff down into this afro so that's another good thing with buns. Buns stretch your hair because I feel like this fro is stretch, honey. Stretch. Alright, so this is what we're starting out with. You had an afro and you don't want to wear your hair big today. You want to pull it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit of water on my hair. Not a lot, just a little to dampen it. Cause we don't want your we don't want our hair to revert but we do want to add at least a little bit of moisture especially the parts that are going to be um slicked up into the bun just rub it down a little bit to make sure that your hair is absorbing the water make sure you're really slicking your hair Alright, so now that the water is kind of absorbed into our hair, we're going to go in with the hair balm. It's the hair balm mainly on the ends of my hair where we're going to be slicking it into the bun. So pretty much on the ends of your hair. Mmm, it smells so good. Alright, the hair balm should give you a bit of a shine. So now with your brush, you're just going to gently brush just the top layer. You're not really detangling, but you're kind of straightening out your edges. Don't do it rough. Do it very gently, barely even touching your hair. Uh, because again, I'm just doing it to kind of smooth out the top layer of my hair. Just to give it kind of like a smooth finish. So now I'm going to start grabbing all my hair into a ponytail. With the goodie hair band, you're going to wrap it around your hair once. And reposition your, your hands. And then you're going to twist it again. We're going to twist it once. And pull through your pony. You notice that the hair over here is shorter and this side is longer. It's because how the hair ended up in this ponytail. It doesn't necessarily mean that my hair is shorter and longer in those spots. But since this piece is the longest, I want to keep these pieces on the outside to kind of cover up the shorter pieces. Because that's what's going to give our bun some bulk. You know what I mean? So we're going to put our hair through the pony right here and as we put it through the pony we're going to try to let this hair smooth out the hairband is making it smooth out 
So that's the point where we're doing. So we're putting the putting it through the band, but we're not going to go all the way through. And then we're going to let go. So our hair is still under that goody hair band. So now with the it's kind of messy right now, which is fine. So now we're just going to kind of smooth it out. Just grab hair. The hair that you know needs to be pinned down. You're just gonna start using your bobby pins to put it in there. And even if you have hair like at the top of the bun that needs to pin that needs to be pinned, you can still bobby pin it right in the bun. It doesn't have the bobby pin doesn't necessarily have to be on, you know, your scalp area. But it doesn't have to be perfect. With the curls control paste. And that man I relied. You worry about who that you love and what don't you get wrong? Here's the curls control base and my old toothbrush. I'm just gonna grab a little bit. So I hope you guys learned a few tips and tricks on how to do your beautiful bun, top knot, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, girl. I mean, like, I ain't think you was dumb or nothing because my mind spun from your wife.